Hey everyone, Clay Plays Games here. Today I am back with another episode of LEGO Fortnite Survival. Got a pretty good episode for you, but before we go into it, if y'all enjoy this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any one of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the drum button on my channel, check out the link down in the description below, and also check out the little info card in the top right corner of your screen. Also, make sure you use Clay Plays Games in the Fortnite Arm Shop. That's C-L-A-Y-P-L-A-Y-Z, G-A-M-E-S, all capitalized or 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 little. Sorry, I can't speak today. It's all capitalized or all lowercase, all put together in a nice little row. So do yourself a favor, get this, get yourself the battle pass, and use my code while you're at it. So let's get into it. Now, this one's also another different episode that I've got planned. Uh, typically, I would be working on like some of the prefab builds and redecorating them with something new. Or I'll change up, you know, what I'm doing and kind of start like a new village. And that's kind of what I'm doing today. So a while back I mentioned I finished kind of a village, like a village in each biome. And technically that's true, but I mean, we haven't really done one at the beach yet. And I think I want to start a fourth village here over in the beach. Now I did have to quickly find a good area and this was on the map already. There just wasn't like a really good flat area that wasn't affected by the desert and really hot so I found this little corner pocket right over here it looks flat enough and should be big enough to hold a pretty good sized village depending on uh, what I'm going for but that's the plan for this episode and I'm kind of excited so let's go ahead and head over there I might have to clear some stuff out oh that's nice that's a little nice build I've also thought about what I could do for a new series eventually if I ever have a start a new world and the kind of idea for that is to set up um, oh, an idea of once I start on the world, I cannot use prefab builds. I have to go to places that already have uh, buildings set, and I have to rebuild them. It's a, it's a, it might be a little confusing, but it's, it sounds cool. Actually, if I can get you into the water, oh, I might actually be able to get you into the water. There we go. Perfect. So, to start this off, now, and I'll explain also what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and set myself a town square, a little village square. Um, just nice, kind of out here in the, kind of the middle. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, set me up a, oh, do I want to go ahead and do this now? I got to make sure that I'm confident in this, because if once I get rid of it, it will reset the icon, and I won't be able to change the name back. So let's let's work with it. See what we can do. Dark Township, Haunted City, Harvest Hills, Leafy Landing. Let me see. Friendly Foundation, Lucky Labs, Paradise Peaks. That actually sounds a lot better, especially with us being at the beach. So we've got ourselves a village square set. I'm gonna start, you know, breaking everything and making room for stuff because I also want to work on some of the beachside builds and make this. Uh, we know where I house those bills because uh, some of y'all know the not in the hardcore world. I don't. Th I think it might have been in the hardcore world, but I made a village around a lake area with the beachside builds instead of putting these uh, actual buildings at a beach. So I'm changing it around, changing the game a little bit, uh, changing the culture, and I'm gonna be, you know, genuinely placing these things on the beach. And I'm going to try and get as close to the water, but uh, like still enough far away. That doesn't really, you know, mess anything up too much. And as long as there's nothing in the bills that are going to stick out, I think it should be fine. I guess I didn't really think about, like, what all was going to stick out. And wait a minute, is it just me, or is that facing one way while that's facing another? Am I wrong? Hold on. That's for... No, that's right. It's just weird how it looks lined up. It looks like that one's turned a little bit more. It would be nice if they added a different like style of angles, like where you can make it diagonal or something if you wanted to. Change it up a little bit, you know? But this is what I wanted to work on today. I know it sounds a little bit random, but I haven't really done this yet. And I wanted to kind of do a little bit different things in every episode. And just, you know, have fun with what we've got. And I'll just change it up any way I can possible. 
So I'm definitely going to be building these and getting these all set. If I can't build all of them, that's fine. Maybe just enough to get me to a level 10 if possible because I will be fully upgrading it. I think I need to fully upgrade every village that I go to from now on. I think that might be what I do. Like every village square I make. Is it, I think it's possible to make one. It's just you won't have villagers there, I'm guessing. I think that's how, this, how that works. You can still have a village square. If not, there might be just a limited amount. And that's fine too. But I know at least this fourth one should be at the beach. Because this is kind of the fourth biome. Although, I mean, I would prefer if they add, like, another bi like an actual another biome. Change up, like, different kinds of wood. Like, imagine getting knot root from, like, a an actual tree instead of just, uh, lump, like, wood things in the... Where does this go? Um, instead of bark in the caves. You know, imagine going to uh, an actual tree that you could go find, like, in a jungle biome or something. And you get a certain kind of wood. Kind of like in Minecraft, where you get different kinds of wood that you can you know, go after and stuff. I think that would be nice. Just, like, change it up a little bit, because I think, you know, they, there needs to be another way to find some knot root. And I think changing it to have, like, a jungle biome where those trees are not root trees or whatever, you know, that could work. But I don't know if they'd have the room to make a jungle biome. I feel like they could, though, because they always have plenty of forest and plenty of land that they can mess around with. I think that would be nice. But let me see. I'm going to get... Try and get these done as fast as possible. They're not very quick builds. So I just try and go back and forth with what I can do. Luckily, I know what I'm doing because I've built most of these before. Just all willy-nilly. I never play this in sandbox mode, though. It's not really my thing. Because I feel like I could quickly learn to build faster in this. Maybe. And it doesn't take as long. So I might just have to play around in sandbox mode for a little bit longer. Um, but other game modes, like there's several other like Lego Fortnite game modes that I've seen, but I've never really played. The only one I've, I really played was the Prop Hunt. But if there's any Lego Fortnite games other than the basic Lego Fortnite game that they all want to see, let me know and I'll check them out. The Prop Hunt one was always like one of the fun ones for me, at least when I played with Cameron, because you know you can kind of cheat the game sometimes and also. You know, find little hidden spots that no one else would notice. That's the that's the fun of Prop Hunt. But, I don't know. I'd check out those other games if possible. Some, I remember when the first two mini games came out, they weren't really all that great. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to play those ever again. Because I don't really want to go back to them at all. That shark one and then the... Not even a... I don't even know what you call it. It's just the one where you run the whole time and parkour everywhere. That one wasn't really fun. Like, I'll be open and honest, some of these game modes aren't the best. But, I mean, you know, th there's times when they hit the nail on the head and get a good one. But, but I mean, I, I honestly like this more than I do regular Fortnite. And I'll stick with that for, for a while. I don't think I'll ever say I enjoy the Battle Royale stuff until maybe the next OG season that they do. I'm just curious, because I, I know they're going to do uh, Chapter... Or, yeah, Chapter 2. At some point, but I don't know. I wonder if they'll do chapter one again one day. I mean, I feel like that'd get more eyes on the on the product. You know what I mean? I just think that'd work. Now this goes somewhere. Let me figure out where. Oh, that makes sense. And this is gonna go here. Okay, awesome. We got the swimming shop, and eventually I will work on the decor, and everything will get uh, put up properly oh ooh, we got okay awesome but i'm gonna set this up and try and get have room for everything hopefully i may have to use my shovel for some stuff and at least this way whenever i come over here i can get more sand i always need to get more sand because i could eventually work on the star wars stuff again who knows there's always like room for future stuff and I, i'm always willing and like ready to try some new things that's why I like doing just different episodes. That's what makes this so fun. So the next one I want to do, because I had the swimming shop first, but I want to try and get the the little the little beach house done. And I don't know if that's okay. That's gonna be okay. Now, der, der, der burger, or er, uh, burger man, burger head. What was your name? 
I've already forgotten what your name is. That's kind of bad when you when you forget the name of uh, name of certain characters. I'm gonna line that up and set it about right here. And this one's gonna be a big one. I'm gonna have to get a lot of work done for this. The the other one might have to go like on that side over there. We'll see how that turns out. So one two. It's easier when you can just go fast and speed run through it. It would be nice though sometimes like if there was an option to just insta build. You know you just have all the materials ready. But all you gotta do is press a button and it just auto builds for you, like in a, like kind of like in a stop, st uh, stop motion animation, like where you just see the build go on as it like prog progresses. I think that'd be pretty cool, and you just see the whole thing build for you. You know how like in like Lego Star Wars where you build the thing and it just does the, like it, you look like it looks like you're building, but the thing's just doing it for you, really. I mean that could be nice. You just you just hold down one button. And it just builds the rest. I think that'd be cool. And where does this go? A lot of railings for the... For the houses and stairs. So, one here, one there. It's nice that those are like one stage. Everything else just takes like small bits and pieces. Um, and we got the, the... The roof is gonna be like the final stage. So it's gonna take me a minute on those. Done. But you see, I can I can get it done pretty fast. It just takes me a minute because I gotta see where each piece is at. So, interior. I love interior. I'm kind of okay with that because I don't have to worry about the outside yet. It's done. 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 But also, other than just like Lego Fortnite stuff that I've been doing, you know, there's Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach that. Uh, I just started uploading and stuff, and um, Benny and the Ink Machine either is or is almost over, um, depending on when this gets uploaded versus when the finale episode gets uploaded. But just know, uh, Bendy should be like Bendy is done. Like I've I've finished the game, but I don't know if I've recorded or I I don't know if I've uploaded the rest of it. But just know everything should be ready and uh, ready to go. I'm kind of happy with it. That game was a lot of fun. I'm I'm ready to do uh, ready to do Dark Revival. I'm gonna do that after I finish uh, Final Fantasy Freddy Security Breach. Which, if you haven't checked out either series, Benny the Machine or Final Fantasy Freddy Security Breach, please go check those out. It was a lot of fun playing those games, and I haven't even finished uh, Final Fantasy Freddy Security Breach. But that game was a lot of fun, and there's like just plenty of moments where I do get terrified because it's just there's times where it's just random. Like if you know the uh, the staff bots. Those seem to be like the scariest thing in the game for me, for some reason. I guess it's just because they show up out of nowhere, you know, just ready and willing to, you know, hand you a map or something and terrify the ever-living crap out of you. It's like, I can't deal with that. But, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. I love playing that game. There needs to be more games like that, but I do love being able to play scary games and, you know, see what that's like. Because it was never a thing for me personally until recently. So, and I'm, I'm now jumping into scary stuff, like more than just games, like movies and, you know, just stuff like that. Like there's, a, there's plenty of stuff to, you know, venture out and explore and experience. So that's what I've been hope, hoping for for this channel. Like, I want to, you know, play several different games and see, like, you know, just see what works and, you know, hopefully share new experiences with y'all. And, you know, open, not open your eyes in a sense, but like... You know, give y'all something to experience if you haven't experienced it yet. You know, uh, just indulge in it for just a good few minutes and see if you like it or not. That That's kind of the whole point of YouTube. So it's like I always like to throw out random things to see what sticks to the wall. Kind of like some pasta. Oh, pasta sounds good right now. I'm going to go with, for some good spaghetti. My mom makes great spaghetti. Let's see. This is going to go over here. Oh, this is a good way to figure out how this build works. Because I never, ever figured this one out. I gotta do the platform rot and get the walls down. But it should be alright. See, I got this one done pretty quickly. I, sp I, I went through it pretty fast. They, they call me Mr. Quick. No, that doesn't go over there. Can I get it? Oh, I got it. Nice. Just a little bit of parkour. That's all you need. One, two... And I'm definitely going to have to figure out how to go around that. Hmm. 
can I do I have a there's no ladder or anything is there awesome okay as long as I can set it up from the inside should be fine uh, where is it gonna be on the outside oh it's gonna be on these sides okay that's fine uh, hold on now stuck up on the railing getting railed over here one Two, 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 one, one, two. Gotta count it out. One, two, three. And then I should be able to reach these, if possible. I hear the skeletons. Are y'all attacking my builds? Uh, I guess you were, but I'm more powerful than you and stronger than you, so y'all might want to take a step back if I were you. Let's get those stairs down. I think it's following me. Where, where are you at? I could. Well, I was about to say I could take the the lightsaber. It finally recharges as well. Uh, Durberger, I will help you out in just one moment, my friend. I am trying to finish up these builds, and I will eventually get you a bed so you can sleep, and you will be welcomed into my home. I don't. Even, I think I have Tomato Head back at another village. I think maybe the. Uh, sand village quite possibly who knows but I would like to get tomato head and uh, dirt burger head all together I think that'd be fun so I'm gonna break these down you know that didn't feel as long as I uh, anticipated but it was nice to get those done uh, how much to upgrade oh I can I can upgrade that plenty now this is just to uh, uh, get stuff done because I've got everything else this is just to make room for people. That way I can have more villagers and everything. And I'll bring some stuff over here. That's another idea I have for a village where I just restart at every stage. Like if I make a village like in the grass biome, I can't bring materials over from one village to another. And kind of not really cheat, but like it just resets me every time I do that. That sounds fun. I might try that. Who knows? But for now, we're sticking to this world for a good while. Um, I'm gonna set up a bed for the Durburger head, and you deserve a nice, a nice uh, panel bed right up against the wall. Perfect. Okay. And now you should be good as long as you're still here. All right. Nice to meet you. You can call me Beef Boss. What? Oh my God! I feel so bad. The fact that I can't remember the name Beef Boss. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm I'm probably gonna get hate in the comments for it. Like, man, how can you forget about Beef Boss? No one should ever forget about Beef Boss. So I do have eventually enough room for one more person. We'll see if I can get another one here in a minute. Who knows? Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a, 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 a campfire right there. So overall, not bad. I think I just need to do like another house here, if possible, maybe like a small one. And then over, like, facing that way towards that ocean, that side of the ocean, uh, I'll do another, like, one of the big ones, the, the the big, the big, big house, you know? And that'll look nice. I'll clean up everything here, you know, move the trees out of the way, get everything settled. But overall, I like it because it gives enough room in the front yard area of the beach. It all looks really nice. So I'm very happy with it. But if y'all enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any one of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the drum button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below. Also, check out the link in the info card at the beginning of the video in the top right corner. Also, make sure to use Clay Plays Games in the Fortnite Arm Shop. That's C-L-A-Y-P-L-A-Y-Z, G-A-M-E-S. All capitalized or all lowercase, all put together in a nice little row, and I will see y'all in the next one. So, with all of that being said, thank y'all so much for watching this video. And have a great day.